all the ads in this job 140. So click yes, fine. All the ads are erased. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy competitor ads, ads for every group. So I'm going to click this, and every single ad that shows up for the keywords. Let, let me explain a bit, a little bit how this works. Is, for example, what it'll do is it'll look at all the ads that that for these four keywords, and then it'll look for the ads that show up the most in its history. Uh, you know, in its big in, in the database it has of all the keywords and the ads and, and the search results and so on. And then it sorts them by, by which ads that show up the most. And so it, I'm taking that sorting and then I'm filtering that, that to only grab people with a certain domain name. So capture my timeshare, copy the top five ads, go. And this is going to do every single group. So it's going to do 97 ad groups. Hit OK. And you can see, boom, it's, it's doing it right now. And this part right here takes a little bit, not there. Now it's done copying ads, cool. And see, I've got ads here, I've got ads here, and so on, I can click on the ad and see. Um, this ad seems to be all over the place, which is kind of weird. That probably explains. Okay, so there's the ad. Cool. It's all it's all over the place. So apparently this ad is really popular. Now there's something that we want to do though. Is that you can see this target URL? That's not the target URL that I want to use. I want to use this one, my own target URL. So I'm going to replace the target URL with my target URL, which isn't using tracking 202. Okay, and then I'm going to update every matching ad in the selected job. So every single ad that looks the exact same is going to have the new target URL. So I can do that, and that updates all the ads. So now all the ads have my, my thing. Not that one. This one does. Any ad that looks exactly like this. Now, there's a little trick to this, though. I don't want to do it like that. I can do that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to going to delete all the ads again. Yes, all the ads are going to be erased. And I'm going to do the exact same thing, copy competitor ads for every group. And here's what I want. I want the ad text to have the word share in it anywhere. So time or timeshare. And I either want an ad to have the word timeshare in it or I want the display URL to be cached for my timeshare. And what I'm going to do is now I'm going to have the display URL be www.cache for my timeshare. And I'm going to have the target URL be my target URL when I bring them in. And as you can see, it has like the keyword insertion and things like that. So I've got that. And display URL is going to be cache for my timeshare slash whatever, doesn't matter. And so. If the ad text has the word share in it, I would I would want to use the word timeshare, but I can't because um, that some people spell it timeshare, some people um, some people have a space, some people don't. So I'm just going to do the word share, and since we're all targeting timeshares anyways, that should get me what I'm looking for. And because I have this or here, I'm going to get things that aren't necessarily for timeshare. So even after I do all this, I still need to go and Google. And, and do some cleanup. So I'm going to do all this, and then I'm going to write a couple of my own ads and put them all, all in the same group and upload it into AdWords, and we'll, and we'll see how to do So uh, let's hit OK. Let this thing run again. Now we just wait. Dun, 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 dun. While I'm waiting, I'm going to write up a couple of ads.
is done copying the ads. Okay, so now I see I've got five ads everywhere. Maybe I should have said a little bit more. See, here's the danger thing. Okay, look at this. This has Timeshare Resales Awesome. There's a freaking phone number in there. There's no way I want that ad to be showing up for me. So, what I'm, but that's, it's okay because I know the stuff like that is going to show up. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my ad that I just made. And that should be good. Cast for my timeshare. There we go. Money for your timeshare. You cast for your timeshare. Okay. I'm going to add this group to every, I'm going to add this ad to every single group. So all the groups are, are going to get this ad. Done. Let it, let it do its thing. Load it. And they are, this is the one I did. Let's make a new one. Drop your timeshare. We will give you cash for your timeshare today. Everything else the same. Add to every group in the selected job. Done. Ads. Now here's, I'm gonna do keyword insertion now. Here's something cool. And if you know what keyword insertion is, awesome. But here's, here's where it's, the reason I'm even doing this in the example here is because for the exports to MSN especially, I've got it set up so we can still make the keyword insertion work. On Yahoo already has a pretty decent key, well, it's not as good as Google, but they have keyword insertion in it. Okay, do some ads, add to every group, let it do its thing. There we go. Okay, have an idea on where that is. So, these are my ads. I've got eight ads for every group. Now, for the next step, I need to export these ads in the AdWord editor, and then I need to clean everything up because even though I brought these in, uh, there's going to be some lines that are too long. There's going to be some ads that just really don't apply to what I'm trying to do, and uh, so I have to go find all those. So I'm going to go to export, job 140. I'm going to export. If I just wanted the groups and the keywords and that was it, I could have skipped this ad section altogether and then just gotten a CSV in Excel and just done whatever because it, it just has the keywords and the groups. But I'm going to export this for AdWords Editor. It's going to give me two files. It'll give me two files, and those two files I will use inside of AdWords Editor. Let me get that started. All right, now I've got my AdWords Editor up, and I have the two files that I, that I created. One is ads, see the word ads, and one is keywords. And the way you do this is you go over to, let me get these out of the way, to, um, it, doesn't really, it doesn't matter which one you do first. I like to start with keywords first, but it doesn't really matter. And this is very important. Make sure that you do this on keywords and ads. Don't import your keywords as ad groups because it just messes it all up and it doesn't work. I've done it.